Hello and welcome back from Coffee Break. I'm very happy to announce the next talk. It's uh, about Typo 3 in universities. And you're going to hear about um, market shares of Typo 3 in this market, a case study of the Technical University of Munich, and a short peek into the future. Please welcome Doris and Martin. Hi, uh, welcome to our talk about Type 3 for universities. Who of you are a member of a university? Oh, a lot of. <laughs> okay, um, I'm Martin, I'm working for Intercode, a company located south of Munich. Today we like to talk about using Type 3 at universities. We like to, we would like to give you a short overview of the type of free market share and a look into the future of universities using type of free. A few words about my company I work for. We are a young team. We are working only with type of three. We have a mix of clients, for example, small and medium business, but also enterprise companies and, of course, universities. I'm working for the Technische Universität München in a central department. Uh, central department is named IT Service Center. Uh, inside of the service center is a little type of three team, uh, which is provide which is providing uh, websites for the departments. Oh, before I go to the next step, I just wanted to say that uh, it's good to know that uh, Typo 3 is forcing UTF-8 from now on. A few words about a uh, university. Uh, here I'd like to give you some more information about the uh, history of the university, which I think it's quite interesting. Uh, the university was founded in 1868 by King Ludwig II. It's uh, the Bavarian king responsible for building uh, Schloss Neuschwanstein, and it's the Bavarian king uh, well known as the crazy guy wasting a bunch of money for castles and all the stuff nobody needs. But this is only one part of the story. The other part of the story is that King Ludwig was very, very interested in technology. He built his castles with um, steel constructions, had central heating, had water toilets. Uh, had elevators in the castles, and he installed the first electric power station, which was the first electric power station in the world. So I think his love for technology led to uh, the foundation of the university, which had the first name uh, Polytechnische Schule in München, but at the beginning, it already had the status of a university. At that time, the number of students was around about 340. Today, we have almost 36,000 students. We have about 500 professors, uh, 10,000 employees, 13 departments, 400 buildings. A um, couple of buildings, and these buildings are mostly spread over the three campuses of the university. On the top is the image of the uh, campus Weinstefan. Uh, Weinstefan is called Tum School of Life Science. Um, one interesting uh, research center is the brewery, which is the oldest brewery in the world, is the Brewery Weinstefan. And um, maybe they should call the campus uh, Campus of Good Life because of the brewery. The next campus, it's the image on the right, is Campus Garching, is located in the north of Munich. And the focus on this 
uh, campus is natural science and technology. The last, the third campus, is the campus Munich City. And Munich City is divided in three important sites, downtown Munich, the um, university hospitals, and the uh, Olympic Park, which is the park where the Olympic Games 1972 took place. Okay, so some facts about universities in, in general and Tepe Frey in Germany. Germany has around about 525 universities um, with about 2.5 million students overall. Let's have a look at how the different content management systems are spread over the university landscape. Here are the results of our own research regarding Type 3 at German universities. We selected the 180 of the biggest universities because there are more, uh, there are more than 90% of all students in Germany are studying here. As you can see, more than half of these universities use Type 3 now. Another interesting point is that if you count the market share of a CMS positioned on number two, three, and four, there are only 15% amount usage. For other 15% of universities, we couldn't find out what systems we're using, but only 15%. As you can see, type three is spread in the university landscape. And now let's have a look at the use case of Type 3 at the Technical University in Munich. Um, at first, a few words about the service we are providing. Uh, we are providing a website service uh, for departments, chairs, and research centers. We started with the service about five years ago with one person. The first try was in Joomla. We realized pretty soon that Joomla is not the right system and did a next try with Typo 3, and we still use Typo 3 today. Um, we didn't know at the beginning how many websites we will have to deal with, so we were looking for a system which is scalable. So we wanted a system which works with just a few websites and wanted a system which works with a bunch of websites. So we found a solution which we call the satellite system. And here I tried to make an image of this option of the satellite system. On, on the left, is the virtual machine where we have the core of Typo 3, we have the extensions we offer, we have the templates, images, and all the stuff we need for the websites. On the left, the blue circle, are the websites are virtual machine with websites. Websites are single websites, multi-domain websites, multi-tree websites, or a mix of them. Um, and the connection from the satellites, these virtual machines with the websites are the so-called satellites. Uh, the connection from the core machine, or from the satellites to the core machine is through a symbolic link, not only to the core, but also to uh, the order, to the folder where we have the template set. Um, So when we have to do any changes on the la layout or core updates or change changes on the extensions, we have to work only on one machine. And it's pretty comfortable because we change now about 500, about 400 websites and these are installed on uh, more than 300 uh, virtual machines. Uh, the team which is handling these 400 websites is only three people. 
uh, but I didn't say anything about the administration of the virtual machines. We are not doing the administration. We have a provider. The provider for our uni uni university is the Leibniz uh, Supercomputing Center, which is uh, the computing center for all universities in Munich and public academic organizations. So universities in Munich do not have their own computing center. They are supported by the uh, Leibniz uh, Rechenzentrum. So uh, they are supporting us by providing the virtual machines and are doing all the work around the servers. We have nothing to do with these machines. They are doing the setup database, uh, security stuff, uh, all the work around this. The next step is Martin. <laughs> the needs of the universities regarding Type 3. Universities have various requirements. Um, let's see what needs Type 3. Uh, let's see what uh, for what needs Type 3 is the best choice. University would like to publish websites for internet, internet, and also for extranet. Regarding the different usage, universities need a large scalable rights and role management system. They need to provide many sites with many editors and different access rights. Type 3 is able to provide it with ACL permission and visibility by configuration. All, um, all these settings could be combined and used in different cases and different parts of the page tree. Also important is uh, the support for multi-language websites. Due to the high flexibility of Type 3, the university is able to meet their own needs. Different languages could be solved by a multi or in one tree system. In addition settings for default language and the language overlays gives more possibilities to find the perfect solution. The advantage of this continuous concept is that it works for different elements, for pages, content elements, and also for extensions. You can configure a type of three website as a multiple tree website and as a single tree website, multiple domain website, and also combining these possibilities. In, in, uh, <clears throat> in addition to that, you can also set up different access rights. The last point, accessibility, is an important requirement. With type of free, you're able to control your full HTML markup. Also, many extensions supporting accessibility. German universities have to follow these uh, rules by law. Accessibility is a voluntary extra task for agencies and also for the editors. But editors should be trained to do this right. Can't talk? So people who cannot hear can read, so yes. I don't... Uh... Okay. Yeah. Um, universities often use more than one system. Uh, Type 3 uses an authentication service, uh, which can be extended with own services. With this service, it's possible to use centralized user management. So it's possible to connect to an LDAP server or authenticate the users with Shiboli. For those who don't know Shiboli, it's an open source project that provides single sign-on. 
In our opinion, it would be very helpful if that type of three serves an API, for example, REST, which helps for party applications to use type of three or integrate type of three services. Yes. It's po and the last one, it's possible to use these authentication methods for editors, so called the backend users, but also for the website users as front end users. Uh, universities, as, as well as companies, would like to have an overview over their budget. One advantage of type of free is that it's for free. You don't have to pay any license fees because Type 3 is open source. In addition to that, Type 3 don't need expensive hosting. A simple LAMP server with Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP is enough for that. Another advantage for cost control is the long-term service version. Over a period of three years, you could have, you have a, a low-cost support regarding Type 3. Only little updates and no migrations to newer versions. To save costs, you only should use extensions you really need. Extensions are useful only to show or save uh, uh, structured content. And that's important, take care on the quality of the used extensions. Some hints to detect good extensions is that they use modern technology, for example, XBase and Fluid. They have an existing manual and also an extension icon because this shows the love from the programmer to his product. And cl uh, clearly the code quality that you could check on the Type of 3 extension repository and an existing Forge page is also a hint. And for sure, the number of downloads is a good indicator. Content is king, everybody knows it, and universities have in general a lot of content. Type of 3 gives the possibility to structure content in different ways, as normal content elements or, or, as, uh, or as data sets to publish these contents on more sites with different settings or different layouts. Type of 3 makes it possible to publish content very flexible. You could use with, or you could start or end time. You could uh, check the visibility for certain users or groups and for short different layouts. Even regarding the menus, uh, Type of 3 is a very flexible system and that makes it very interesting for universities. One of the most important features is security. Not only for the administrators or the develop, uh, developers, but also for the editors and, of course, for the website users. And as far as I know, Type of 3 is the only CMS that has an own security team. The security team takes care for the CMS core, but also for the extensions in the Type of 3 extension repository. A very helpful tool is Caretaker. Anybody knows it? Yeah. Caretaker is a monitoring tool that is especially uh, constructed for monitoring Type of 3 and its features. It's based on Type of 3 and it's an extension for Type of 3. Based on the architecture of Type of 3, uh, it's also possible to use the other well known uh, monitoring tools like iSinger or Monit. So the high market share of Type of 3 at the universities we show at the beginning <clears throat> makes it possible to share knowledge. University can work together and learn from each other. For example, the new PowerMail version, the university package, is a project of ni nine universities who initiate and sponsored some additional features. External help is, is also provided. There are many well-known professionals in Europe that could help you. 
Another possibility to, to get help and support is the big, great community behind Typo3. There are many events, uh, official events and private events, for example, uh, camp and here the T3Con or the developer days. And there are user groups and everybody could join here. Also, extending Typo3 is very easy. There are many extensions um, for different usages are available in the Typo3 extension repository at typo3.org. So, let's take a look into the future of universities. The requirements for universities are changing. Um, let's take a look at the challenges for universities. Universities may reduce the budget for the web. Uh, good cost control with type of free could be very helpful. And today, many services have to be web-based. Type of three offers the possibility to create your own extensions for a bunch of requirements. So type of three is a very interesting system for all universities. For example, the Technical University of Munich has own type of three extensions that connecting and grabbing data from other non-type of three systems. And yes. With all of these features and possibilities of type of three, uh, universities could get more students as a result of providing better content and better services. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marcus and Doris. Um, are there any questions for those two?